now let us discuss about what is regular expression the language accepted by finite automata is called as regular language so what is regular language regular language means the language which is accepted by the finite automata generally we use regular expressions in order to describe regular languages in order to represent regular languages we use the regular expression regular expression means a pattern a, an algebraic expression regular expression is a pattern or algebraic expression which is useful in order to describe or represent regular languages now let us see the definition for the regular expression let sigma be the input alphabet then the regular expression in short we are calling it as re for space constraints in the examination you can write regular expression also here for space constraints in place of regular expression i am writing re if let sigma be an input alphabet then the regular expression can be defined as totally we have seven points are there the first point is pi is a regular expression which denotes empty set so pi means empty set empty set means the set doesn't contains any elements okay so if uh, if we have empty set then we can represent that empty set by using regular expression as pi so pi is nothing but a regular expression which is useful in order to represent empty set empty set means the corresponding set doesn't contains any elements next second rule epsilon is a regular expression which denotes null string null string means within the curly braces epsilon so the uh, null string is represented like this so null string means uh, we have a string but length of the string is zero here we have epsilon epsilon is the string but what is the length of that string zero is the length of the string so if we have a null string like this then we can uh, represent the regular expression by using what epsilon now let us see the third rule let a be an input symbol in alphabet sigma then a is nothing but a regular expression so if we have uh, an input symbol a uh, let sigma is equal to a then we can call this a as regular expression let uh, sigma contains x input alphabet x input alphabet sigma contains a symbol called x then we can call x as a regular expression let us see the next rule if r1 is a regular expression then r1 star is also a regular ex expression star this star is called as clean closure clean closure clean closure let the input alphabet contains a then clean closure means uh, star means any number of occurrences including zero occurrence zero occurrence is nothing but epsilon so here we can write this as epsilon a double a triple a any occurrences of a including zero occurrence zero occurrence of a is nothing but epsilon so if r1 is a regular expression then we can say that clean closure of the r1 that is r1 star is also a regular expression next rule if r1 is a regular expression then r1 plus is a, is also a regular expression r1 plus means positive closure positive closure so positive closure means uh, we should have minimum one occurrence so that means epsilon is not present so positive closure means one occurrence of a two occurrences of a three occurrences of a like that okay it should not contain zero occurrence and the next rule is if r1 and r2 are two regular expressions then r1 plus r2 plus means union then r1 union r2 is also a regular expressions so if r1 and r2 are regular expressions then we can say that r1 union r2 is a regular expression likewise if r1 and r2 are regular expressions then r1 dot r2 dot means concatenation so r1 concatenation r2 is also a regular expression so this is about what is a regular expression we can define a regular expression by using these seven points